All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube. If you're watching this video later on over there, for the moment we've all been waiting for, we get War of the Spark now live here in Standard. We are going to play some ranked Standard matches with Grixis Control featuring Nicol Bolas Dragon God. So we are building a deck, a control deck, built around this very powerful new Planeswalkers from War of the Spark. Now, I'm, I'm building this very similar to the Grixis Control deck that we uh, played a lot last season. I think that, in particular, um, Disinformation Campaign is a really good card to pair with Nicol Bolas because the plus one ability with Nicol Bolas after you draw a card, it says each opponent exiles a card from their hand or a permanent they control. So it just takes a resource from your opponent. They get to choose which resource, but it's still, it's it's denying them one of their resources. And Disinformation Campaign is a good card that, that also denies them resources. And so if we start chipping away with these different cards at their resources, it just makes it a lot more difficult for them to recover. Um, so that's, that's, our, uh, that's our game plan. That's our goal here. Admittedly, I don't think that this deck is going to be very good against mono red or mono white aggro. I think both of those two aggro decks are going to give me a lot of trouble, and I don't have a ton in my sideboard for them either. I have some stuff, you know, but like not a ton. In particular, uh, God Eternal Kefnet here is a you know kind of a, a fast clock and a good body to bring in against the aggro matchups. Uh, that can also provide some card advantage. So. A couple of things. That's this is not like the best idea for day one. Uh, I'm just kind of throwing that out there right now. Um, day one, a lot of people are playing are probably going to play like some aggro decks like mono red and mono white. They're very easy to put together and stuff. So we may get paired against those, and we may struggle against those. Just kind of letting y'all know about that. Um, but as the format um, kind of settles in, there looks to be a lot of really good mid range and uh, control cards in War of the Spark in general, and I think there's going to be a lot of mid-range control, big mana, that kind of stuff, uh, combo overall in the format, and I think that's where you want uh, Grixis Control can uh, uh, be a good choice in, in that kind of format. Uh, but, you know, this is day one, so we'll kind of see how uh, how it kind of works out. Oh yeah, Gideon, yeah, we could build a Gideon deck after this also. As you can see, uh, we're doing a 12-hour stream today uh, for this. We're doing a 12-hour stream because we got to our uh, quip, our latest Quip referral goal last night. We had a couple of people sign up to get a new toothbrush. And you can see here, like we're pretty close to getting some other 12-hour uh, streams as well. So, you know, settle in, get your uh, popcorn ready, and we're going to be playing a lot of War of the Spark ma uh, magic today. A lot of standard today, but we're starting with Grixis, and I also have a Gruul mid-range deck that I want to try out with, uh, specifically focused around the new Domri, um, and Ilrog, and Ronis, um, and but those are our first two decks. But then we're gonna be, we'll build more here on stream and everything, and so you know we're gonna continue to play this format. So let's get it started with Grixis control and see how we do here. Yeah, you can do exclamation point deck for the deck list. Grixis Control. I, I don't plan on playing any limited later, no. I'm just going to be playing standard all day. Um, you know, be playing competitive standard, trying to see what we really like in this brand new format. I mean, I, I can't go shirtless on stream if that's your question. That's against... Uh, rules. Your first pack was Gideon Blackblade. Very nice. That's a great first pack. The new set is out now. Just came out within the last hour. Yeah, we could have a Vivian. Uh, we could go with a Vivian Flash deck and like flash in our creatures a bunch. Um, you know, Instant Speed Hostage Taker, for example, is is pretty messy. Let's see. Let's see what our opponent's got going on over there. Oh yeah, we finally have 3D Dragon Skull. Finally. Cast down and double Thief of Sanity. Well. Cast down doesn't do anything. 
We don't have any targets for cast down in our deck, so we might as well just take a Thief of Sanity. And our opponent was nice enough to play the land they drew for turn, so we we knew they didn't have a any kind of other card in hand. First pack was a gold wild card, second one was a red wild card. <laughs> Yeah, those are really nice, but you're like, I kind of wanted to see some new cards. All right, so obviously the Nickel Bowl's Dragon God would be like the best card that we could possibly play here. Um, but it's possible they have, you know, counter magic. I just want to instead play a couple dis play a disinformation campaign here and kind of go with that. I don't really want to throw out my new dragon god into a counter spell well now we have a backup dragon god all right we got a backup The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your end. That's kind of a long one. I have other schemes to attend to. Let your weak minds crumble. Nicole Bolas has a lot of a lot of words. All right, there we go. All right, so another blue-black deck, but based around Thief of Sanity, likely. Let's get some more Narsets in here. And... Gosh, we have so many... So many good cards, like, new toys to play with here. All right, so Ritual of Soot can come on out. Um... Get a Liliana. Go with this. Woo. I'm liking it. Wait, where's my Contempts? Do I not have Vrassus Contempts in this deck? Do I just not have any contempts? Huh. I guess when I was putting this together, I forgot about contempts. Well, good thing we did. Good thing we just did a ranked match and not a league, so we can fix this. <laughs> Whoops. It's like, where's my contempts? Alright, so we're going to have to take out some stuff for contempt. No, no sets rotate out. There's only one rotation a year, and that's in the fall. I guess I should be playing Watery Grave here because if we draw another Narset, we'd be able to play it.
All right, so they took something that's better than disinformation campaign. <clears throat> so, ah, they found a removal spell. This is bad for us. All right, can we get a land? All right, we're still in it. All will bow before Nicol Bolas. Defiance has consequence. So now basically the main check is, do they have a, a counter spell for our other Bolas? Okay, well, Thought Razor is a counter spell for our other Bolas. Let's draw a removal spell. I will wipe your bloodline from existence. Not a removal spell. So I, I still have other removal in my deck. We don't need just, like, there's only four Thieva Sandys in their deck, so you don't need to just play, like, a bunch of Moment of Cravings and everything like that also. We don't need to be that all in on stopping four cards. So I got like I have six removal spells there plus the bolus. So like I don't I guess I don't need the Liliana or the Ugin. I don't know, like those are ex those are more expensive. Eh, I like it. I like where we're at. Yeah, Thieves Sandy good. That is about the the one way we're probably gonna lose if we lose. Is with that Diva Sandy like that. Alright, so we need red mana for this bolus. Alright, duress, duress, campaign. So I'm gonna take the campaign while I can. That's their good card. Duresses can take these things, whatever, but we'll have the bolus. This is like not a good time to draw this Narset. Not a good time to draw that Narset. Could we just draw it like the very next turn? Ugh. That was the worst possible time to draw that Narset. We just draw that next turn. Alright, where's Red Mana? There's a red mana. Found it. Ooh, negate had a had a little animation there. That's new. We do need like a fifth land if we draw a bola, so like it's it's tempting just to, to keep the land. I thought there was a good chance that we'd find another land afterwards.
I don't know anything about a free deck with Twitch Prime. Hey, inmates, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. First sub of the day. Getting this coil out of our hand before it just gets discarded to disinformation campaign. So we are we are far behind now. <clears throat> uh, I should not have used the devil there. I was gonna say, what could they possibly be taking out of besides Nickel Bowl's Dragon God? We'll remake the multiverse in my image. No! Hey, goodbye, my Blue Monday. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Limit. And Nickel Bowls wins the game. Thank you very much. Goodbye, Blue Monday. So kind of drew, that's the problem with like having all those removal spells is like sometimes you just draw like how people are like, why don't you play more moment of the cravings for thief? If you have games like that, that we just drew all of our removal in the mid game and they just have their discard spells, they make us discard it. And then, you know, it's, it doesn't do anything proactively, you know, like we didn't get to do anything with our, um, you know, with our turns, we didn't, we weren't doing anything. All right. So we're going to need some contempts in here. Looks like I'm taking out these duresses. I guess I forgot about contempts whenever I put those in, so let's let's change that. Get those in there. Um, three duress in the sideboard. I could add Dreadhorde Invasion in that matchup. Like that's what this card, this card is in my sideboard for that matchup. I forgot to put this card in. Do I even want this card? Maybe I don't even want that card. Yeah, I'm gonna take it out. Okay. All right, next try. All right, update. I'm gonna update the deck list on Stream Decker now. No, I'm not gonna be playing any sealed. We had enough packs and everything that I do not need to play sealed. We're just gonna be playing. Standard. Hey, Steve. Goes to World War II. Says, keep doing what you do. Thank you so much, Steve. Alright, let's update this, that, and we need two contempts. New battlefield. This battlefield is supposed to be I'm saying the the uh, citadel. Yeah, it's like the top of Bolas' Citadel. Alright, so Mono Red, the this and Mono White are the two decks I don't really want to face. So this is not not good for us. My prowess is a keep an open mind. <clears throat> oh man, if we would have just drawn that Narset, you know, like one turn later, that last match. <laughs> could use some training all right um let's try this first so we want to find ritual of soot all 
Last zone's interesting. Double frenzy? Come on. Let's see. We're gonna need all these negates. Um, I want this Kefnet. The other ritual of soot. Hmm. Take out the campaigns. And. I mean, Ugin is really expensive. But may need to just keep Ugin in. Yeah, obviously get these moment cravings in here. May need to keep Ugin in here to be able to deal with the frenzy. Hey, what's up, London? Yeah, we were 100% dead. That last game. What other cards do I want to take out? So Discovery for the most part in this matchup is going to be like Dispersal. I guess I'm trimming a, a Dragon God. Yeah, let's trim a Dragon God. Oh yeah, Peyton, definitely real hyped for the for the new cards. Absolutely. In Ravnica Constructed? So that's like... What is Ravnica Constructed? It's that block, I guess. No, I don't think that's best of one. Best of one would be like arena. That would be called arena standard. I guess Ravnica constructed would be uh, block. You know, just Ravnica, Guilds of Ravnica, and War of the Spark. But I didn't. I didn't know that was a format that people played. Oh, it's just a special event. Okay, it's like a weekend event thing. Welcome back. Fourth month in a row with that resub. Thank you so much. Oh, that's sub number four on the day. I was a little behind there. Hmm. So while Contempt is a lot better for me to, to play here, mana-wise, I need to keep Contempt for a potential rekindling phoenix. I was holding up negate here for a, a frenzy. Our opponent did not have a frenzy, or at least did not play a frenzy if they did.
I guess I should have just done this last turn. Because that is frenzy. I, sh I should have just done this. Gates is not banned. That's just a, a wacky weekend format that it's you just can't play it in that format. We really need one more mana. So bad. All right, they got two two looks. They're not attacking because of lava man, so they got two looks out of burn spell. I'm just ready to go to the next match. Also, like we we're not gonna win this. But, I mean, if if our opponent doesn't kill us here, maybe we have a chance with having to gate. I guess they have three looks, right? Because upkeep. I'm not going to be able to disperse all that treasure map, unfortunately. Like, I just don't have don't have the mana to disperse all and have negate up and, and everything. Yeah, negate having an animation is pretty pretty different. We need them to draw a creature or lands. Just draw lands. That's not good. Down to one. <laughs> Angry Ben, it's just you should just play uh just play put some cards together that you have and play, you know, what what looks fun to you. That's uh that's all you need to do. Yeah, we needed those lands a little earlier so we could start double spelling. It was really tough how we couldn't double spell there for a little while. But like I said, like mono red is just what I what I really don't want to face. 
the blue black deck that was a matchup I would like to play all the time. It just didn't, you know, didn't really go our way. Um, just kind of drew drew the wrong cards at the wrong time, kind of thing. But I would be willing to play that matchup all day. Mono red and mono white are the two I do not want to face. All right, what do we got here? If we only had blue mana. So we'd be playing that Discovery on turn three with us playing the Escanta already on turn two. And that's not uh, something I'm too interested in right now. One to find some more interaction or something. And it's mono white. This is just like I said at the beginning of the video. Um, it's not very smart for me to be playing a deck where I don't want to face mono red and mono white on day one. Um, because I was, I mean, I said this at the very beginning of the video. Uh, I thought it was going to be a very popular day one choice. They're easy to put together, people already have them. Like that people want to jam them against other decks that people are tuning for win for to get some wins and stuff. I was just, you know, hoping that we would be able to dodge them, but obviously we have not. And that was a very good hand for them. Yeah, that's we have. Yeah, we have the command for the uh, whoops for code as their play war spark gets you three free packs. <clears throat> oh, ultimate luck. This new nickel bolus just seems bad. Way too slow and the cost is rough. <laughs> yeah, we played against two Harper Aggro decks with my uh, brand new, very untuned deck. And therefore, the new Planeswalker must just be a bad card because we haven't won these games. <laughs> Another great curve, uh, yet again, one drop, Adanto Vanguard, History Banalia. Same curve as last time for our opponent. You thought the card was bad when it was spoiled? How could you possibly think Nicol Bola's Dragon God was bad? How could you possibly think that plus one draw card plus opponent removal resource is a bad card? Like, how, how can that even be... How could that even be possible?
What are you protecting? That knight token? So we're going to have Bedevil for one token. We are still really dead without finding a Ritual of Set. Just too good of a curve for the opponent. Alright, so I, th I guess we're going to have to put some Cry of the Carnariums in our sideboard. Alright, we're going to have to make our deck a little more anti-aggro. Let's get some Cry of the Carnariums over here. Put the fourth ritual back in the main. And get rid of the Narset. And get rid of the Elder Spell and put a couple Cry of the Carnariums in there. Alright, let's keep going. Our packs were really good. Yeah, we opened up a lot of good cards and everything. Our, we had like a couple, I mean, we, we opened 130 packs, so uh, we did good. But like our first like uh, 50 in particular were like really strong. All right, updating our deck list on Stream Decker right now. Took out Narset and put in the fourth set. Okay, got that updated. Yeah, Enter the God Eternals is, is pretty good against those aggro decks, also. I don't. Love it as a five mana card in a lot of matchups, but um, it's good in those ones. Dispark exile something that costs four or more. In our three matches, I think that one experimental frenzy was the only card that we would have been able to dispark. So we've seen one, we've had one permanent on the battlefield against us that we would have been able to dispark. We gotta find a removal spell for this bolus. That was a really bad auto tap. I was expecting to draw lava coil right there after that auto tap.
That was a good draw. Just gets this bolus out of here. I'm a god once again. They're about to have seven mana potentially and being able to flip their their bolus. And I'm I'm glad it ate the Ral's outburst. Though no, like they could have just attacked it. Get rid of one of those two cards. The whole Hexproof Menace bit is annoying. Yeah, Amass is... This is what... Amass is really good in these kind of matchups. And, um, like, Amass is... Like, this card in particular. Like, this card in particular is awesome in this matchup. It's... It's not a card I'd want... To, you know, against the mono red and mono whites and stuff, but like in in this matchup, our our opponent's a mass card is really good. I don't know why they didn't attack there. It had menace. We could not have blocked their token. They could have freely attacked there. <laughs> that must be nice. Well, we almost won with five card hand. We'll see how we do it after sideboarding here. So we, so we know they're gonna have a lot of creatures. This is not like a take out the removal kind of matchup. I do want the Liliana in here though. It's like just another, uh, you know, like they are slower. Just you know come in, minus four, sack two creatures kind of thing. I don't really want, like, negate to rest Narset. Like, that's not the, the battle I want to try to fight. I think that, that winning the battlefield is the most important thing. I could certainly see playing God Eternal Kefnet also. But I like... I like everything that I have going on over here, though. I like the cards in my deck. Uh, yes, Sami says. So I'm going to go with this deck here unless would I rather have Kefnet instead of an Angrass Rampage? No, I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep I'm gonna go with this. Alright, pretty good hand. Made a bolus deck with Rat Colony. Hmm. What cards are in consideration for Esper Legends? Uh, basically anything that's... <laughs> really anything that's white, blue, or black that's a Planeswalker or a legendary creature is in consideration. Um, I definitely really like Narset, uh, especially things that cost two and three mana. Uh, those are like the the big things that like the deck. You know, you can always use more two and three mana 
cards. Um, I think Fibblethip could probably work there. So they have Negate. Or not. They're shocking in. I'm expecting a Thief of Sanity here, so I wanted to keep the Lava Coil. It's just always Thief of Sanity. And this allows us to Thought Erasure plus Coil the... Uh, the one problem with Coiling instead of Ritual of Sitting, though, is if, the, if they do have a Bolus afterwards. I don't have a removal spell immediately for a Bolus, but we do have the Thought Erasure to help with that. They have a lot of creatures, so a couple boluses and a bunch of removal. We'll take one of the boluses. You can copy decks from Stream Decker on the left hand side. I need to be able to de bedevil the hostage taker. I'm not using bedevil on the bolus right now. I need to be able to bedevil a, a hostage taker. Okay, well they got. <laughs> looks like they didn't care about their hostage taker. All right, well now we can bedevil, bedevil the bolus. In a little bit. <clears throat> Let's make him get rid of another one of those. So we're two cards away from flipping Ascanta, then like playing Ugin and having Ugin destroy Bolas. Would be nice. We'll see if they have a sixth mana or not. Not a sixth mana. Yeah, I just I need land. I do want to flip this as Kanta though. Hmm. Let's go graveyard. I'll be able to flip next turn now. All right. So next turn we can keep land and flip. Sure. Keep land and flip. Crap. I am ancient and wise. Heat. The fabric of the multiverse obeys me. They, like that very first one, they made Ugin sound really, really old. I am ancient. Oh, sorry. Um. There we go. Now codes will say the new one. Drummer Film Guy with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Drummer Film Guy. Thank you very much. That was a good card. I shall withdraw from this petty squabbling. That Enter the God Pharaohs worked out really well for them there.
still. I want you to tap. Why would I want you to tap both my black sources deck? Yeah, negate has an, a new animation. I don't know if other. Um, I do not know if other counter spells have it also. So I want the fourth black source so that we can play Dragon God and Campaign at the same time. game's over. I guess they, they could draw a contempt here for the dragon god. Sure. They could just keep exiling their 1-1. One -one. Moat of my power. All right, Escanta. So I think I'm going to have the stop. I think I'm going to have this blast zone. Um, take out the dread horde invasion next turn. I think the capitalization matters with your code for booster packs. Game three. A little slow. Discovery is most likely going to, like we're going to be looking for removal here with Discovery on our turn two to stop a Thief of Sanity because, you know, we won't know if they'll have a turn three Thief, but that's what we're going to be looking for uh, with the Discovery. Yeah, Carnival Carnage could be okay. It, it's it's kind of like how good is Carnival going to be in this kind of in like our meta game here. The problem with Carnival Carnage is our four mana slot is really is really full already. But if Carnival ends up being a nice removal spell then um, it will definitely be really valuable. Egg Yolks TV, welcome to the channel. Thanks for that resub there for the third month in a row. All 
Um, how they just took the the bolus is kind of telling me that they don't have a thief of sanity next turn. I'm gonna keep these and hope there's not a thief of sanity this next turn. Because I think if they had a thief, they would be taking the discovery. But who knows? Maybe I'm giving my opponent too much credit there. But I, I'm... Ah, <laughs> uh, they did have Thief. Never mind. Just instantly punished for keeping those two cards. <laughs> Alright, well, campaign. I don't know anything about the Twitch Prime thing. Wow. Okay. So yeah, they need land drops. Discarded Contempt also? What did they shock in for? Like a negate that they kept? But... And they had a coil? That last card's also negate. It's gonna be really annoying. So did they just like shock in for negate last turn, discard their removal spell for my bolus, top deck another removal spell that let them do that and negate? Oh man. Just like, <laughs> uh, opponents never punished for anything, we were instantly punished. There's the one car that could take the Liliana, obviously. I mean, I guess I'm just going to be dispersaling here. Wow. That was the best car they could hit off the Ascantis. I couldn't draw the Liliana. This has been like kind of a tilting game. Just draw a, a dragon god. If you're Must be nice. Another time, planeswalker. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. Yeah, this has been incredible. We are literally, f like, first hour of playing the format. We we don't know what the best deck is right now. Conceivable. Come on, Antlers. I outsmarted you eons ago. So basically at this point we just need to be top decking our own bolus. We've already seen two though. We need to draw another one. 
my revenge will be paying my intellect to kill theirs. Limit. Yeah, we did. Let's see if they have the counter spell. Kind of surprised. Did not have the counter spell. Spark will be mine. I am death's master. Let's see if they found another bolus or not. Hey Dunlap. I will return one day. Well, opponent made some really baffling decisions, but they still just kind of <laughs> worked out for him. That was a really crazy game there. Ugh. Oh well. All right, so Thieva Sandy's been a little bit of a trouble for us in a couple games. I mean, I made a, I made a, a very wrong decision with the discovery on, on my turn three that game or my turn two. That previous game, because I didn't think they had a Thieves Sanity for how they chose a Thought Erasure, which just wouldn't be what you you would choose if they had Thieves Sanity. But then they did have Thieves Sanity, and you know the rest is history. Yeah, this is Hawkeye. He's a good kitty. All right, we got to hit a couple more land drops and find a ritual of set. That's there's a ritual of set. So now we just got to draw an untapped land next turn. No, I don't think I don't think Angrath helps with creatures any more than Nicol Bolas does, or really close out games any faster than Nicol Bolas does either. All right, we we were fortunate there. We drew our untapped land. That's our. One of our times getting fortunate. Let's see if we can keep doing that. Not in place of Bolas in addition? No. I don't I don't think the deck wants more five drops. That's not Yeah, we already have already have a lot of five drops. How many creeping chills have they seen so far? Two? It's definitely possible that I'm not going to need the Ugin. You know, Ugin's kind of a, a test out. You know, like there's there's a lot of different things we're testing here, but Ugin, Ugin in particular, you know, being our our six mana walker, it's it's definitely possible that Ugin's not going to resonate be worth it. The multiverse. I have other plans. My schemes are never ending. But this is why I like disinformation campaign and Ravager and stuff like that with Bolas, because it just cuts down the resources they can have.
like to test a new hypothesis with you. So now our bolas can do these things. I think you will find. Did I return any helpful. target card from graveyard to hand? You have tasted but a drop of power. Do exclamation point deck list. Commence the end game. You're going to want to play a different version of Grixis 4. You're going to want to play a lot more instant speed. Like, if you want to be playing, like, Chemister's Insight Grixis, then commence the end game could be an option. So I think Liliana just replaces uh, Ugin against a creature deck like this. And I don't think we really need to do anything else. Oh yeah, Bolus is, is really good. Um, we struggle, struggled against aggro decks, and then we've had two kind of unfortunate game threes where just everything's kind of go, go wrong in like mirror type matches. Um, and then we just struggled against a couple of aggro decks. But... Had a lot of mulligans too. All right, so we'll see if we just draw any. All we need to do is just draw a land, so we can discovery with us having like the scry and two draw steps. I was hoping we could find a land in one scry and two draw steps. Ritual sets so a, a key card in this matchup, I would assume, from everything we saw in the first game. Um, I like how Ugin is an answer to some problematic enchantments. Also, kill planeswalkers and all that kind of stuff. There we go. We're getting those lands. Stop. There you go. Oh, we've lost all of our matches so far. We have not had the best of luck. I think we're going to be winning this match, though. We'll see if Creeping Chills get us. I would like a fifth land and a bolus. That's what I would like. <laughs> Wrong bolus. I'll take that bolus too, though. No, New Karn does not do anything against the Immortal Sun. Let us have a New Karn cannot be activated with the Immortal Sun out. Telling. Activated abilities are things with a colon. See how right here, see how this says like four, blue, black, red, and then there's a colon? That's an activated ability. Uh, see how this says plus two, and then there's a colon there? That's an activated ability. The Immortal Sun, there's no, there's no, like, Activated abilities have a cost, and then a colon, and then, like, a reward, basically. 
Um, and so that there's nothing with that on the Immortal Sun, so that's hmm. that's not an activated ability. I know ability. I noted this somewhere. has been compromised. So basically I'm a little worried of like creeping chill. And so I just wanted to get that card out of there. Wanted to get the Tamiyo out of there. If I play a Bolas, they discard something else. They can Thought Erasure and take the Contempt. And now, you know, they take one Bolas, but we have a backup. I think I maybe just want to a bunch of harpooners. I think I maybe just want to sideboard out. I don't need to concede yet. I think I'm gonna sideboard out four mana bolus, honestly. Here. They need one more mana for Command the Dread Horde to put those all back. All right, so they got a lot of spells. So, this is all just okay. I'm gonna take out Ravagers and bring in Duresses and. Play some negates also. Looks good. So I think their deck is is pretty spell heavy of like the cards that matter, um, with like the planeswalkers, the counter spells, the discard spells, that kind of stuff. And then they have like a bunch of like really crappy small creatures that we can clean up with ritual of sets. Do I want Negate or Tamiyo? Do you need to find another Black Source for the Ritual of Sets? All right, definitely keeping disinformation campaign for next turn. Um, do I keep the blood crypt also? And I guess so. Yeah, we just keep it.
We're gonna need to stop shocking here eventually. Yeah, I have, uh, right now I have three negates in, currently. about any lunar anomalies you have to the library. All right, I'm playing Bolas and ticking up here. So they said Tamio. All Shocklands. We're going to just die to Shocklands. You were gods once. I am one again. And thankfully it is exile. I will return. So if they if they choose Let Stitcher Supplier, they don't get the trigger, just exiles. Crumble. Hey, thank you so much, Harry Potter. Thanks for the bits. Is Arena based on regional servers? I have no idea. Honestly. I have learned I much from my ancestors. My schemes have uh, thank been you, foiled. So many ritual sets. Seek and find. Thankfully, they haven't really seen any creeping chills yet. We need to draw another bolus or a search for Kanta. So that was kind of the reason why I wasn't using that ritual of so before, is because of Narcomiba. Um, I like how Ugin just answers a lot of permanents that Liliana doesn't. Never forgotten. They're down to twenty five cards in the library. Uh, no, Deckmaster is not working still. That Assassin's Trophy on my bolus was the key here to this match. Let me aid your research. Our deck has not been performing well. Playing a reactive deck the first day is always going to kind of be like this. It's it's really tough. 
and things have not been lining up at all. You can tell they're just drawing all these ritual of sets that are just kind of dead at the wrong times. All that kind of stuff. It's just nothing's lining up for us. So I guess we can move over to a more... We could go over to a more proactive deck. Because... Our Grixis deck is not working out. Let's see. We can also change it up quite a bit. If we would like. Hmm. Let's play one more. Ugin hasn't been any good yet. We've only, like... I mean, we, it's just a one-of. We've only played it, like, one time. And... It didn't... It didn't do too much for us. You know a card we haven't seen very much of is Search for Escanta. When have we had Search for Escanta? We had it, like, one time. Oh, Mono Red. <laughs> Bolas does have to lose. That is true. Yeah, Bolas is not catching any breaks these days. our first time casting Angrass Rampage. It did, it did its job. Alright, we need to find it lands. There's a land. Take a frenzy. There's a frenzy. Alright, we got a frenzy out of there. That's how our day's been going. That is how our day's been going. The whole of the multiverse will bend to my will. The card that we can't beat from red. So we need to find a six land and find an Ugin to get rid of that. Out of my power. But a drop of okay, power. we got the Ugin. Can we get a land? We're doing it. Wow. My Luck is turning around. Will be painful. <laughs> you have no weakness that I cannot exploit. I know more than you could learn in a thousand life. I can create. All right, or frenzy out of there. Destroy. And even though both of these planeswalkers are now going to die, another time still leaves them with with nothing and you know us both top decking basically. Insolent fool. But we're not we're not just dead to the frenzy though. Another time, planeswalker. Alright, so let's see if we find a ritual of set here before I just lava coil. Contempt. No, I'll go ahead and Lava Coil. Because I can cast a Thought Erasure as well. 
and get the surveil in to dig and pick this campaign back up. Blast Zone could answer another frenzy. This could answer a frenzy. I think I want to try to find a way to win, though. That was a really good card to draw. Ritual set. No. Looks like they drew a land. Speaking of drawing lands, we're doing a good job there. We need to find a bolus. I will take either bolus, please. Oh, more lands. Hey, Max, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome back for the third month in a row. Get some hype in the channel there. Sub number eight on the day, I was behind a sub. And a bolus. We're one mana short of flipping bolus, unfortunately. Again. Death means nothing to do, not defy the design. Ah, secrets manifest before you. So Ugin can make. I'm taking Ugin because it can make two twos that, you know, so basically we get to trade here with uh, ticking up in loyalty and also gaining cards, kind of thing. All right, we got game one against Mono Red. Ugin to the rescue. All the dresses, the gates, get these Cry of the Carnariums, Moment of Cravings. Ugin to the rescue. I mean, Disinformation Campaign did a lot for us there. What if I just cut dis Discovery Dispersal also? Oh yeah, Kefnet's coming in. Yeah. What do y'all think of, of Cry of the Carnarium? Is it, like, is it worth it to play Cry of the Carnarium, honestly? I feel like their creatures can just get bigger than this. Maybe it is. I'm going to cut one set. Let's see, that's 63. Hmm. Alright, Thought Erasure is gone. Duress is just cheaper. I like cheaper. And so, like, we don't win the game very fast, right? And so the question is, like, four negates feels excessive. We don't win the game very fast, and we need the negates against top deck burn spells. Like, after we stabilize, negate is critical to keep us alive through top deck burn spells over, you know, multiple turns. Thank you, Phil. Yeah, that was a, that was a satisfying game there.
And I'm not shocking in to cast duress because, you know, that we're likely going to save a couple life with the duress. All right, next turn. Next turn, we can cast duress, and then we'll know if we want to hold up negate or thought erasure. We'll basically see if we if we want to cast thought erasure. Oh, that's really annoying. Can we get cry the carnarium? Dang. Contempt's a good card. No. Gonna need to find a sweeper. Uh, this the second one, ma'am, bam. Ritual of Soot one time. Boom. Luck is turning around. Luck is turning around. I did... I did tell my opponent that I was going to Ritual of Soot by taking both burn spells. With with those two, so I did tell I them that. Spare you. In exchange for eternal, I have other schemes to attend. I outsmarted you eons ago. All right, and now we don't have to worry about like the really strong part of Nicobolus is plus one. Getting rid of that fourth land means that even if there was a a frenzy there, we wouldn't have to worry about it. Do not defy me. Contempt, I'll take that. Your defiance is in fury, and my intellect is without limit. That game's over. Alright. Picked up a win. Finally picked up a win. That was our, our fifth match. So we're one and four of the deck. We've lost to two other aggro decks and then we had two other, or three other, is that our sixth match? Yeah, with three other like blue-black mirror type matches that just went to like game threes that Everything went wrong for us in the game three. So we've been losing a lot of game threes before this. Play for about an hour and a half. Let's look, get it some more. <clears throat> yeah, uh, that's not the name. I know we were talking about the the planeswalker where it has minus one discard a card kind of thing. Narset's reversal. I like the change the target of target spell. I don't think I like Narset's Reversal over anything else we have. Davriel, yeah. There we go. Davriel. Davriel. That's the name. Davriel. <laughs> Our deck's going okay. Uh, we, we've had some bad variants, but... Um, basically, right now, Mono Red and Mono White are two decks that I don't want to face. 
the other decks, I you know, I, I want to be facing the other decks. We've faced three other blue-black um, splash of color or not kind of decks, and we have lost the game three in all of those. Um, they've been you know kind of close games that just things kind of went hay haywire for us in different different spots. So you know that happens. Angrass Rampage can be like it doesn't kill the thing that you want. If there's if there's multiple creatures out, you know you don't you don't get to choose, and therefore I think I like having Lava Coil most of the time. Unfortunately, right now we're playing against you know a Teamer Reclamation combo deck where. We have three dead cards, so we're base we're on a mulligan to four here. I can't I don't think we're gonna be winning this game. I can't really imagine us winning this game, but it's just I mean I do need this land. But I also so basically I need this land, and the discovery wouldn't be bad either. But I I want to fill the graveyard for Ascanta, which I guess, if I want to fill the graveyard, I guess just taking another discovery helps us do that. Very nice, Lego Zoe. So this kind of matchup is why we have why we have all of our duresses and negates and the nar sets in our sideboard. We're going to be bringing in around 10 cards replacing these kind of ritual sets and lava coils and stuff like that. Chemistry's Inside has an animation now. We only opened up one Nicol Bolas in our 130 packs, so we had to use wild cards on the other ones. I'm already tired of this game. We're not winning that. And it's just kind of a waste of time. Alright, I guess we had nine cards in our board. I could see Kefnet doing stuff too, though. I could see it being ten. Alright, so if we take out all these Ritual of Suts, the Rampage, the Coils, that gets us to 62. And I can cut this... I don't know. Ugin, I guess, destroys rec Wilderness Reclamations. So if we cut the two Contempts, we still have two Bedevils for other removal, plus Dragon God Ugin can kill stuff. Alright, let's try this. Our deck's been performing about as expected. Uh, we've had some... Had a bunch of rough game threes. And lost to some aggro decks. This is not that great of a hand, but we have the Azkanta that can hopefully set us up looking for more of our discard spells and interaction.
So if they have Growth Spiral into Wilderness Reclamation, I don't get to prevent that with drawing the campaign here. They definitely have... Well, not necessarily definitely have Growth Spiral, but... Could be Negate, I guess. That's fine. So other option is just keeping negate up for like them untapping at wilderness reclamation. Just you know, I'm basically just hoping they don't have it and just kind of putting, you know, trading those for counter spells so that, you know, hopefully Nicol Bolas resolves the next turn. So they did just have the have the perfects. They had a reclamation as well. Hmm. Really glad they didn't have chemistry's inside there. Love the Narset here. We can have that with Negate back up. And we've already taken out two counter spells from them. Can't have a, a fourth counter spell in hand, right? Okay. The past, present, meditate and prepare. Keep them from drawing more cards. How are we doing over here? Four cards over there. So we're, we're gonna want a sixth land so we can. Duress plus Bolas. Hmm. Put thoughtfulness before action. I will remake the multiverse in my image. We kind of need to find a gates. Basically, it's it's can our opponent draw an explosion or not? Let your weak mind. Please don't draw an explosion. I I don't think deliver unto evil is a very good card. All right, they did not find an explosion. So they had a ton of counter spells. And we saw negate, syncopate, sinister sabotage. Tons of counter spells. Narset keeps our opponent from drawing multiple cards a turn. Explosion would kill the Narset, not kill the Bolas. If they drew an explosion, they could kill Narset. And then, would they draw cards after that? I'm not actually. I'm not exactly sure if they. But they they had to get Narset off the battlefield. They wouldn't. They wouldn't an explosion to kill Bolas. They would have explosion to kill Narset. And then, because I guess it does the damage and then draws cards, so it deal the damage and then Narset would be gone, and then they would be allowed to draw cards. Is that how that would work?
This is going to be tough to beat. So could take the Reclamation, but kind of figure that they're going to find another Reclamation with like this as Kanta. Um, we have like the Dispersal to maybe bounce the Reclamation. I'm, I'm going to try to get their hands kind of clear. Like I, I want this campaign to resolve to eat stuff. Uh, I'm glad we drew another campaign. Yeah, that was a nice hand. This is going to be a tough one to win. No land? No land? Pass? Tilt. Hey, like a Zoe! Thank you for that donation. That's unfortunate. <clears throat> I would like you to create a deck based around the Gideon Planeswalker whenever you get a chance. Okay. Um, maybe we'll do that one after Gruel Midrange. I was thinking about doing a, a Gideon deck after the Gruel Midrange deck anyway, so. So we get to draw four cards. They're just going explosion here. Another explosion. War well, the Sparks been fun so far. Even though we haven't really been winning yet, um, you know, it's been interesting for like the new puzzles of standard and everything. Alright, uh, lesson learned. The the turn 2 Thought Erasure take Negate was just completely wrong. Should have taken the Wilderness Reclamation. Lesson learned. Wrong decision by me. Okay, that thing can kill a Niv Mizzet. I don't really want to cast these spells to just give them cards with Niv Mizzet out. Yeah, Slam Niv Mizzet and step on tap all your lands to have all your mana up. 
the rough one. I mean, even if I just if I just don't take the negate, if I just take the explosion to start with, they don't draw those other four cards off explosion. I basically just took like the the complete wrong card. Um, that was my bad. Yeah, I mean, I, I just messed that, that game three up. I took the wrong card there. Hand was awesome. You know, congrats on having an awesome hand. I messed that game up. I took Ngake, so, you know, I wanted to get campaign going and try to reduce their resources with campaign, but they already had us Kanta in play, and I just couldn't, I couldn't uh, fight that battle. I needed to let campaign go and let, let campaign get negated and take either Wilderness Reclamation or explosion those two cards were just too important and I didn't take either one and and those two cards killed me that game was my fault all right so first first run through with Grixis control uh, went really poorly uh, win loss wise but we're learning about the format uh, I talked about this at the beginning of the video how this is not the best idea for a, a day one deck whenever we're uh, playing against new stuff. Uh, we did change some things in the deck. You know, we're, we're ended up right here for now. Um, but, you know, like this is, this will, uh, can definitely change. Blast Zone didn't really like, look like we ever had time to do anything with Blast Zone. I'm not, I'm not sold on Blast Zone. Ugin was okay. Uh, costs so much mana, which is the problem, but it's a, a very solid card. But it costs a whole lot of mana. Um, if we ever, like, resolved Nicol Bolas, it did, you know, really good work for us. Um, this card was one of our best cards, of course. Um, we just didn't have a lot of cards line up throughout the the day there. It's definitely possible that we should just move away from campaign though and that we should move towards like Narset's main deck um, like Nar like <clears throat> like Narset Chemister's Insight you know more instant speed stuff a lot more counter spells instead of being tap out that's certainly a possibility to move away from discovery and campaign especially like discovery was just, you know, like real slow for us and everything, you know, so it is possible that we should just move away from those cards now um, and go more towards the Planeswalkers. Like, for example, Narset could have Davriel. Um, that is, those are some options to um, consider. Okay, so that's uh, Grixis Control. Uh, get our losses out of the way to start with, uh, but learn some things. Had, had a had a good time. I enjoyed playing Nicol Bolas Dragon God for sure. And we will work on, you know, I'll continue to work on this deck. Uh, but that's it for um, Grixis Control. So we're going to move on to Gruul Midrange here. And then we'll be building some other decks after that. But next deck to try out is some Gruul Midrange. So if you're watching this video later on, on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed your first look into War of the Spark. Um, hope you didn't mind us just losing all of our matches. <laughs> um, and... Uh, Donnie, or well, I'm gonna get to that in a little bit, but yep, thanks for.